Welcome to everyone to Sauce Time Gaming. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video once again. And today I wanted to break down the portion of the season two patch notes that influences recoil for have it be a weapon or a weapons attachment because there was a lot that was changed with season two's integration. Um, and if you were able to check those notes out, you, you, you can very easily see how those notes can be very confusing for a casual player and just for anyone that doesn't really read very carefully when uh, you know long patch notes are sent out this way but thankfully we analyzed them and carefully uh, were able to understand the changes made and I want to show you very briefly which weapons and attachments were affected and maybe what changes you want to be making to your loadouts to be able to maximize on the changes made so without further ado let's get right into it so a bit of a post edit here I was recording pretty much the uh, uh, skeleton of the video and I was looking at what the patch note said and what the testing had revealed and although I thought initially that I had understood how they were wording each attachment and the pros or the cons it's still very confusing um, I, I am not sure at all why they would approach the patch notes in that way instead of using maybe a more commonly known term like buffed or nerfed but whatever the case may be I can't say I'm understanding these patch notes yet because they're really just that unclear. I just want to review pretty much what changed so you have an idea of which weapons were affected and I want to give you uh, the best updated builds for the Bren, the STG, sort of refresh you on the C58 build and the MG42 I think uh, is the one I'm missing to mention here. So I want to give you the information here. The um, STG44 received some sort of adjustment to the barrel, the 650 millimeter barrel or the 680 millimeter barrel, um, the 620 millimeter barrel. And uh, it received a carver foregrip, uh, I believe a nerf and it's specific to the STG44. The Bren received a barrel adjustment. Uh, the Cooper Carbine received one of its barrels um, adjusted as well. The 14 in inch Gracie Rapid and in the case of the brand we're talking about the Oaken Shield 590 millimeter model 2B. For the uh, M1 Garand they did a couple of different adjustments to the recoil however no one uses the M1 Garand so you know a little bit of a weird change in that sense and I'm going to be focusing on the long range weapons of course as we talk about the recoil breakdown series we focus on breaking down the long range setups and the best recoil for those. So these are the ones that I want to focus on in this video. Now, in an overall attachment uh, stat, the silencers were tweaked in a very positive way. The MX silencer was given um, a horizontal buff and a vertical uh, recoil addition in a way. Um, and the Mercury silencer received sort of a removal of its entire vertical recoil control and it received a slight adjustment to the horizontal recoil control. So those silencers are now better than ever. The uh, grips, a couple of grips also received uh, sort of a uh, across the board adjustment. The grooved grip and the polymer grip both received adjustments. So those might not be as effective depending on if they were nerfed or buffed. Again, these patch notes are a little too confusing for that. Um, and finally here, the C58 received an adjustment to its recoil deviation and magnitude. So it should move horizontally a little bit more and uh, vertically a little bit more as well. However, if you saw from the clip at the beginning, it, it isn't much. It didn't really change much from its base uh, recoil pattern. And with that, we've pretty much covered uh, the changes. The MG42 also received a barrel adjustment and a magazine adjustment to what is its only uh, fire rate increasing magazine and the anti-material rounds. So a little bit around all those departments there. You can check those patch notes out yourself. I don't want to be calling myself an expert on them because they are still very confusing. However, I do have some very strong updated builds for long range. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and check those out right now. So based on the change that was done to the C58, there isn't really that much of a change to its overall recoil pattern. So this is the build that I've been running for the longest time at this point. Agency Suppressor, 18.7 inch Ranger Barrel. The foregrip to mitigate some of that side to side um, recoil pattern part of it. Um, the 45 round drum and the Axial Arms 3X, pretty straightforward here. For the 
STG will be running the MX silencer. I am going to start trying out this Crosnick 620mm precision barrel, which is the one that received the adjustment. Uh, M1941 handstop. Uh, the carver foregrip on the STG was nerfed a little bit, so uh, I think I'll just keep this one for mobility because it does also reduce that horizontal part of it um, uh, a bit nicely, as you can see from the pattern. Uh, the hatch grip to reduce that horizontal sort of deviation it has within the whole pattern itself. Um, and the constants tactical, which gives us that initial fire and recoil control, which essentially gives us the seven first bullets um, at pretty much no recoil as you could see from the clips everything else is pretty much up to you you can run the 50 round mag if you want that extra fire rate 60 round if you want the extra ammunition amount uh lengthened if you wish uh, although you can start trying out with different ammunition types based on the changes done to the incendiary and the lengthened uh themselves uh perk one you can go ahead and run vital it really doesn't increase your overall recoil that much it, it only increased it like by two bullets so it, it really isn't something that you'll be feeling during your gunfights, but you can try anything else you'd like. Uh, probably fully loaded here and whatever you want in the site as well. But this is pretty much the skeleton build for the best SDG at the moment, in my opinion. For the Bren, we're going to be running the MX Silencer, the Queen's 775 meter Scepter, which was recommended in the Bren Recall Breakdown series. But um, at this point, based on the changes that they've done to the Queen 705mm, as you can see here, the Queen's now kicks way, um, way farther than the actual 775m scepter. So uh, this is by far the best one if you want uh, the best recoil pattern and the easiest to control in a way. The M1941 handstop, just to not lose out on that much mobility, but you can go with the carver if you want to, to lose a little bit of the aim down sight speed. The Sakura 40 round mags, stippled grip tape is the one that gave us the most linear pattern. Uh, all the other ones kind of, they add a little bit of a curvature to the whole pattern. So I would recommend going with this one if you want the straightest pattern possible. Tight grip and the Queen's Model 11BH uh, stock here. Whatever optic you want, whatever ammunition you want, and probably fully loaded here would make sense. But that's the build for the Bren. And finally here, the MG42. We want to be running the MX Silencer. The uh, It's the, still the same barrel that we talked about in the recoil breakdown video, the VDD 80, 890 millimeter Luft shoots. Uh, the M1941 handstop or the Carver foregrip, both of those are viable. The Carver foregrip just reduces um, the height at which the vertical part of the recoil pattern reaches. So it's really that not much, it's really not, it's really not much of a difference. So, um, if you want to try either one and you don't mind the mobility loss you get in the aim down sight speed for the carver foregrip, then you can just run the carver foregrip, but I'll probably run the M1941 handstop. Hatched grip to reduce that horizontal kick as much as possible. Tight grip and the Krosnik S91 uh, MG stock. This increases our aim down sight speed and also reduces that horizontal kick that the weapon has naturally. And everything else is pretty much up to you. You can run whatever ammunition you want. It's just going to increase or decrease your overall vertical, um, depending if you're using the anti-material or the Sakura. Ammunition type, whatever you want. Fully loaded, probably here in Perk 2, and whatever optic of your preface. But this is the MG42 Skeleton build for the best current recoil builds. And there you have it. Although I wanted to bring you a way more specific and detailed breakdown of those patch notes. Uh, the testing I did kind of did not agree with what I thought I had interpreted from the patch notes. So uh, I hope at least that you're able to take advantage of these updated long range builds. Remember to check out the Rico breakdown series because we have a ton of weapons already broken down and we have uh, various different builds that you can take advantage of depending on the playstyle you prefer to have. So let me know down in the comment section below if you did enjoy this, if you will be trying any of these builds out. Thank you so much for sticking around for this video. And uh, do stick around for the recoil breakdown for the new weapons, the new assault rifle and the LMG, because those will be coming very soon. And with that said, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And until the next one, I hope you always remember. Sauce Time Gaming.